What's up, guys? If you are into music reaction channels that are honest, raw, and authentic, look no further. You found your destination. It is the Taz and Philly Show. Welcome to our journey. And make sure that you subscribe below and enjoy the show. <laughs> We're a reaction channel with a podcast vibe. So we notice people out there that like podcasts. We notice people out there that like reaction channels. We want to try to merge the two together. We're real and authentic, and we want you to represent music appreciation like we do. So always make sure that you like and comment on the songs that we react to, as well as go to their YouTube channel and subscribe, and maybe even a step further and purchase one of their songs. Um, also, make sure that you always check the pinned comments that we have and also our community tab because we always post stuff up there. You never know. Might be something that's beneficial to you. Please also check out our Discord. It's in the description links. Uh, we have a lot of great channels on there and it's completely free to join our Discord. So thanks so much. Hey, everybody. What is good? This is your guy, Taz with Taz and Philly. Um, giving you a special awesome reaction because this is the reaction is due to one of our contest winners if you're watching us for the first time every tuesday we post a contest in our community tab you pick a number and we have a virtual wheel spin and then whoever comes the closest to the number and wins gets the song and artist that they have chosen so this one has chosen austin brown singing um empty house and it says here in the title part, uh, produced by Sebastian Dion, perhaps, if I'm not saying it wrong, sorry. So um, I was curious to try to find out who that was. So I had found like a little, another song rather, um, that Austin Brown and you get to see Sebastian Dion together. Sebastian is on the piano. So I'm going to provide that link in the description of this song, it looks like they're singing um, the sun ain't going to shine no more. Or I'm sorry, the sun ain't going to shine anymore because I wanted to see if there was any way I could find out who Sebastian is. So Austin clearly states in the video, in that video, that that's his friend. So it's it's cool when people collab and, you know, different people produce things and, ca and cause different outcomes. That's really awesome. Um, so this looks like it's a um, audio video. So, um, all you home fries, thank you for supporting this channel um, and everyone else in between. Um, Austin, we've reacted to some songs of his solo and also with the awesome, amazing group that he's with, um, Home Free. Um, they're amazing collectively and they're also amazing individually. So, that's really great. So, they all have their own strengths, um, but they're even more of a force together. But, um, this is a contest winner shout out to Nancy Holter. Nancy, thanks so much. You've been supporting this channel for a while. Thank you for all your kind words and thank you for your motivation and thank you for participating in the contest. Very happy that you won this. Um, and in a moment, I'm going to react to it. We always represent music appreciation. Please, if you haven't already, make sure that you go to Austin Browns. He has his own YouTube channel. Make sure that you go there and subscribe i'll have the links in the descriptions to do so and subscribe to home free as well if you haven't already and if you like this song please like and comment on the song um take care of that so this is the only link that i can find oops wrong one i could find so um this isn't austin's actual channel i couldn't find the song on his channel um but this is the link that um that I could find. So I'm going to subscribe to this anyway, but um, like I said, make sure that you go to Austin Brown's actual channel, which I'll provide the link and subscribe. And I'm going to like this song too, because this is where I'm getting the reaction from. So giving that respect there. Um, that's pretty much it that I can think of. So I'm going to commentate more afterwards. I'm really excited to hear this. Um, Austin has an amazing voice. Uh, out of his small, thin frame, I say that because I'm a big guy, he has such power. Um, <laughs> so that always fascinates me when sometimes I feel like the power in the voice doesn't match the body. So that's just, I'd get a kick out of saying that. Um, 
But anyway, without further ado, this is Austin Brown's Empty House, um, produced, it looks like, by Sebastian Duyon, um, who we found out is a friend of Austin's. So here we go. Feels as if somebody took a chunk of life and threw it. I can already. So that now life is shrunk to something tight. Just chokes and doesn't let no joy come through it. It feels it all has vanished in the dark. I never listen to the silence. I never thought it had a sound. Never before needed more guidance. Now loneliness has become timeless. In this empty house This empty house Never before I heard words Bounce back as they have spoken There's no exchange of words In my Well, damn. Well, damn. Oh, my gosh. It jumped. It jumped right. And you know how some songs, you know, it has like that intro of music before the vocals come in. Like as soon as I had pressed play, he just went right into it. Such four words, four letters. Soul, 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 soul. That song has so much damn soul. And then I love the production that, that would be, I guess, from Sebastian. Yes, the the jazzy, bluesy type of vibe. Like, it really helped you get, like, into the pocket. Like, I love songs like that sometimes. They, it's like the music 
it's like has an invisible force that moves you. Like I sometimes I don't realize I'm moving and swaying and stuff until I like I look down at myself while I'm recording and I realize, oh my God. So it has that that groove in the pocket type of feel, first off. Like that that carries you along the whole damn song. Um and that's so powerful. But I already knew that Austin had an amazing, amazing voice. But I don't know if this this might be the first time where I really heard like like his bluesy soulful side like damn and then the lyrics i mean emphasizing like things that we take for granted like you know i'm sure many of us are inside of an empty house either you live alone or maybe you once were living with someone your love your loved one someone you were in love with and they left for whatever reason either they left because you broke up or they left because they unfortunately passed away and you're left in this empty house that's something that I'm sure I know many of us will take for granted. But imagine in this particular case, if like the things that you are realizing, like one thing he said, I never thought like that loneliness would become timeless, timelessness. Or like the one part he was talking about, like his voice, like echoes uh, within the house. And like, that's all true. But if you're, cognizant to it like those are things that you realize now like oh my god now that there's an empty house things that normally didn't bother me i realize are now magnified like your voice traveling and stuff like that throughout the house and you ask questions as he mentioned some part in the song but you're not getting answers to like the pain the pain the loneliness the the um, isolation um aspect of it can be just debilitating um Damn, 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 Nancy. Thank you, Nancy Holter. Like, I, one thing I love about this contest, well, two things. I love that people participate. It would be very sad if nobody participated. But one other thing I love is that when somebody wins, most of the time, every time somebody has won, it's been a song that I've never heard of before. Um, and I haven't heard of this one before. So it makes me always wonder, like, if Nancy didn't win, how long would it have been before I heard Austin Brown kicking the song's ass? This song like got a sucker punch in the gut, full of soul and meaning and feeling. I really, really like that. That's going on my playlist. Um, <laughs> um, let us know in the comments how you feel about this. Like, I mean, let us know, like, if you want to share, like, any thoughts about you, like, in an empty house and the situation that led to that. And is it debilitating sometimes? Is it something, you know, that's so impactful that you just things you don't things you normally take for granted? You know, it's right. If you're talking to yourself in an empty house and you hear there's nothing that responds back, it makes me think of that. I don't know if it's called a cliche or not, about like if a tree falls in the woods, does anybody hear the sound? That always makes me wonder. Uh it's just it's simple but deep. So that's the same thing with this. Like, it's simple and deep. Like, you're talking in an empty house, but does it have a sound? Uh, really, really love that. Um, and it goes to show that even when videos don't have, like, visuals, like, that was just his voice. That was it. How it still can be have power. But that's the same thing, like, you know, if you listen to a song in the, in the car while you're driving down the street on the radio, you know, you don't see that either, but... It takes a lot extra, I feel like, if you have a song that moves you without having visuals. Because I'm a visual person. I'm a visual learner in general. So, like, you know, when I was in college, I got my bachelor's degree for freelance web design. Um, uh, I grasped more when I had visuals. Like, when we they gave us videos and stuff as opposed to just reading text. Um, but, yeah, this is really, really wonderful. So, let us know your thoughts, how you felt about this song, how it moved you. Let us know if this is the first time you've heard it like it's been for me. Um, and oh, and I, I don't know if I said this already, but I'm going to see if Sebastian has his own YouTube channel. I'm going to put his link in the description as well because he deserves some props. Please, please, please make sure that you go and support him if he does in there. I'll try to find his social media if he doesn't have a YouTube channel. We, you know, if it wasn't for music, where would we be? Music moves us, obviously, because you come onto YouTube and you listen and watch music and you come to our reaction channel. So you love music just as much as me. So let's support these artists, but support us second.
please smash those notifications and subscribe to us and like and comment to us, please. So this comes a part of our show. We always do our thumbs up pass. If we like it, thumbs down ass. If we don't, come on now. The way I was talking, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Really, really loved it. You did great, Nancy. Ah, damn, you did great. Oh, my God. Jeez. I'm going to be singing this like if I'm in a car, like driving by myself, this empty car. I should make my own rendition called Empty Car. All right. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. Um, really, really appreciate it. And I hope this song moved you like it moved me. That was a sucker punch of soul. Oh, I just thought of that. So, all right. SOS, sucker punch of soul. Anyway, this is Taz with Taz and Philly, and I want you to take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs>